You had to bring it back, didn't you, buddy? You had to make us love you again. We love you, Mario. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm late to the party. I just wanted to do a quick Nintendo Direct recap. Well, kind of my highlights of the Nintendo Direct. But first, I want to say this Direct was pretty much catered to all Mario fans out there that love Mario. But there's a catch what's up youtube it's your boy nintendo 91 welcome back to the channel where we discuss things on nintendo so if you want to see more nintendo content make sure to subscribe and if you enjoy the video later on hit that like button but yes this nintendo direct on june 2023 we had a lot of mario stuff we have some pikmin stuff some pokemon stuff some new remakes let's talk about that super mario rpg remake boy did that hit but first, let's start off with the initial start of the Direct. It wasn't that great. They have the hidden treasures of Area Zero for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And honestly, it could have looked a lot better, but I'm just kind of over playing Pokemon right now. I have a whole video I want to make about the way mainline Pokemon games are going. But as of right now, looking at this trailer, it looks okay. I do like the characters. They seem like more you know unique and stuff like that but it, it just the area doesn't seem as vast i could be wrong i could be wrong but until pokemon fixes their patches and you know the way the game runs i don't think i'll be going back to it i might dabble here and then but i'm mostly like a competitive pokemon player so i just play pokemon showdown on you know the website and stuff like that i don't really play the mainline games anymore uh, the story just can kind of seems lackluster even though there was some good parts in it oh I, I just can't i just can't get back into the mainline pokemon games like i used to because they seem so stagnant and just takes forever to get through the story and i, I, I don't hit me with i'm being a pokemon hater because i love pokemon trust me i love pokemon i have pokemon stuff in my room in here somewhere i have a bunch of pokemon cards and all that but that's besides the point the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc is finally planning to release in the fall and winter of 2023, maybe going into 2024. Next up, we have Sonic Superstars, which this game looks absolutely amazing. I love the art style, I love the pacing, I love the characters. You can play as Knuckles, Tails, and Amy. And just the overall aesthetic of the game looks really, really awesome. I'm looking at it on my computer right now on the screen, so I apologize if I'm not looking straight into the camera. But I'll probably be playing some B-roll on top of it. It looks absolutely cool. Four player local co-op especially. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work when you're supposed to be going fast on Sonic games. You know, but I, I'm, I'm excited to try it out. I really am. I'm, I think I'm going to pick it up and I'm really glad it's coming to the Switch at fall of 2023. We have a rough, rough looking Detective Pikachu. But I will say his vo voice acting is kind of funny. He's like talking about his coffee. Like obviously... Pikachu loves his coffee, <laughs> but I just thought this game looked rough around the edges. It comes out and comes out on October 6, 2023, so it's gonna be very interesting to check that out. I might not play this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I never found it interesting. Sorry. And boom! Right off the bat, my boy Mario comes flying in with Super Mario RPG. You're back, buddy. We're back. We're back. Zelda, who? Link, who? It's Mario time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> a Super Mario RPG, I felt the entire... Like, this this game was the game heard around the world. Literally, like... I, I was stumbling on Twitter. I saw videos of people were literally almost crying because of this game. It's a remaster. Beautiful new animation. Beautiful new sprites and models. They, and they look awesome. It looks so good. Gino is finally back. And so is... The little marshmallow guy, I forgot his name. Mel Malo, 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 Melo, Malo. You get the point. <laughs> Overall, I love that they kept the same art style, like the chibi kind of looking art style. And <laughs> I'm really excited to play this game. It's been years since I played this. First time I played this game was like at my cousin's house, I believe. He had it on the Super Nintendo and we ended up going through it together, but that was so long ago. I hardly remember the story. I think I have my brother emulated one time and stuff like that, but yeah, yeah you get it. This game is going to be so good. I'm definitely picking this game up day one. Then, oh my god, my daughter was watching the direct with me and she hollered. She was like yelling, oh my god, a Princess Peach game. Yay! She was like going everywhere. She was bouncing off the walls with that one. I'm interested to see how this Princess Peach game is going to come out and play. We know we had a DS game back in the day, but this Princess Peach game looks interesting. It looks like it's like you're kind of an actor or you're doing like a play or something with Princess Peach. But 
uh, looks a little bit rough, but we're, we're gonna see when the the launch date is gonna come out. It's gonna be interesting. And we got our Pikmin 4 trailer. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm really excited about Pikmin 4. They added an underground feature into the trailer. This game is like so exciting. I'm really, really stoked to be playing this game. They added some new forms of Pikmin. They have the glow Pikmin. They have the underground features. They have the ice Pikmin. Like they have so much now. And I just really love the way that it looks like graphic wise and the little puppy Ochi. He's going to be adorable. Like I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this game on stream. I'm going to be streaming this, so yeah, keep an eye out, you guys. And we have Metal Gear Solid. Let's be honest, uh, a lot of people are looking forward to this. Uh, people were hyped about Metal Gear. I've never played it. It's just kind of one of those things where I didn't have a PlayStation 1. And I, I had a PlayStation 2, but I never picked up the games. And I never picked up Twin Snakes on the GameCube. I just never really found interest in it. And I guess nobody really showed me that Metal Gear is actually pretty awesome. And funny enough, this collection comes out on my birthday. So uh, if you want to, you know, uh, slide your boy a copy of this collection, I'd be thankful. <laughs> and then we have the Mario Kart 8 Booster Course Pass. Like, when is this game going to die? This is like Grand Theft Auto 5 where just a game just doesn't die. It's, we're almost at like Minecraft you know kind of level at this point because we just keep adding characters pd piranha wiggler and kamek let's be honest uh, we really need just need a mario kart 9 but i'm expecting that to be on the next hardware uh, for nintendo so yeah i guess mario kart here we go another round of mario kart but i'm kind of over this game already uh, my daughter loves mario kart but for me uh, i'm ready to move on nintendo can can can, can we please move on please we have the WarioWare game, which is actually looks really, really fun. Me and my cousins used to play WarioWare a lot back in the day and had had a blast. We really did. But this game looks really cool to pick up with friends. You know, you know when we have like a party or a get together, we could just pull out the WarioWare and have fun with it. WarioWare Move It coming out November 3rd, 2023. Kind of excited about that one, not gonna lie. Boy, oh boy. Super Mario Wonder. My boy, you are back. Mario, 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 Mario. <laughs> Super excited about this game. It looks so good. It looks like Mario's been hitting those shrooms and psychedelics pretty hard, if I have to say so myself. So it looks like they finally got rid of the new Super Mario Bros. formula and just straight, went straight into something new and exciting and uh, quite frankly wonderful <laughs> this game looks fantastic i'm super excited to play it's obviously a four player co-op 2d mario side scroller game but everything about it just looks amazing everything looks animated everything looks new fresh even the flowers are like hey i'm walking here oh hey get out of my way they have like a little brooklyn accent <laughs> i can just imagine it you know but everything is so animated everything talks I'm super excited to pick this up. Definitely going to pick it up day one. And that comes out October 20th, four days before my birthday. So if you want to buy me a Mario game, can you please do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And by the way, Mario turns into this freaking elephant where he should, he, he literally looks like he should be on the front cover of a cereal box. Like Super Mario Cocoa, uh, Cocoa Puffs or I don't know, Super Mario Krispies, something like that. <laughs> All in all, yeah, Super Mario Wonder looks fantastic. And, and is, is it going to be coming to Super Mario Maker? I mean, everything is on the table at this point. But good job, good job, Nintendo. Good job, Nintendo. Finally, we get a Mario game. All in all, this was a Super Mario Direct. Basically, they catered to Mario fans and Pikmin fans. So if you don't really like Mario and Pikmin, I can see why you had a hard time enjoying this trailer or the Direct since we had the Zelda direct and you know the hype for Zelda is gone well not gone necessarily but you you know what I mean yes yeah, so let me know what you think about this direct was it an A B C or D or was it mid was it good was it bad let me know down in the comments and make sure to check out my live streams because I'm going to be giving away a sealed copy of Zelda to the kingdom I have it right here so if you guys want to win a copy of that go ahead and follow me on all my socials on Twitter mainly because that's where I usually post anything that happens and yeah, follow the live streams, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new. My name is Nintendo91, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.